what should an aspiring data scientist or data engineer do if they can find an internship or a full-time job assuming they have done some coursework and are ready to be recruited so this is a interesting question and what most people uh, don't recognize is that it's not only about your uh, application it's not about your cv and how polished your cv is uh, you know what employers uh, like a lot more than a polished cv it's a track record it's a work history it's getting to know you and getting to know how you work and how you think and what you think and in this video i'm going to show you a few practical tips how to do that and how to get started on building this work reputation today so let's get started okay so here's what i recommend for you if you're in university and you're studying and you know you want to have a job soon look for internships or full-time um, the the actual the thing you need to do as i said is create a work reputation and this is uh, you need to show this to people and for that you need a blog you need a center of 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 communications a hub where all your uh, your data lies where all your projects go where all your thoughts are going into and so there are a few options you can go here the first option this is the the most uh, most complicated option is to set up your own blog so for your blog you could for instance go to Squarespace and build your own blog start with a free trial and then pay some money uh, and have your own blog set up by Squarespace what you could also do is you could go for a simpler version you could go for a you could go for a free version and this would be for instance on wordpress.com then you have your wordpress account and you have your wordpress blog and you could link everything to that wordpress blog and what you can do with with wordpress for instance you can create a website like i have where I'm having, uh, where I'm collecting all my articles and my uh, my data engineering cookbook, which contains everything you need to know about data engineering and you need to learn to get become a data engineer, and where you can have your your blog, you can um, you can you know, put your articles there. You can set up more sites. For instance, I have one for my podcast where you ca you uh, have access to all the sources where my podcast is running. And you can set a, a about page I call um, my story. And everything basically, this is, this is a big blog and you can run this basically how I'm doing it on WordPress. So... The thing is, you don't really need to do this to start out. This is a more advanced thing. A, a very simple thing that a lot of people do, especially if you're doing, if you're uh, having a lot of source codes, is that you uh, go onto GitHub. You create yourself a GitHub account, you make uh, many projects on GitHub, and you put everything on GitHub and yeah you link everything to github you have multiple multiple projects there all is documented github is great for source code uh, documenting so i personally like github but i don't use github um that i'm i started with it but uh i actually don't like it i like to work in the browser and yeah, I have a have a more simple way of of editing stuff, and the simplest way right now you have is Medium. Medium is a site where you can 
it's basically you can have your own blog there you can um, you can publish articles you can enter the source code um, yeah it's it's a super for me it's it's a it's a great platform like you can ga go for instance on my medium and now I can go to stories so an employer can go to your stories can uh, see okay he hasn't this exact view but you can see all the stuff you have uh, all the articles you have he, uh, um, produced I have 40 here um, and you can you can say okay oh yeah, the three methods of uh, stream processing click here and then he can he has access to the article oh, article and okay i have an another layer here i have a podcast um built into this but you can create your own blog posts i think they are they look very nice you have the social media um part of it so people can share it people can um they have a bit of a strange thing with the clapping mm, i don't really like like this they don't have likes um but yeah it's it's a it's a awesome tool a uh, medium i i use medium also a lot that's that's a, it's a good choice for a starter and you go you document everything you you look for for projects you you um you write about stuff you have learned how you, what you think about it so yeah a potential employer can can find you and can figure out how you tick another way how i'm working is I'm posting on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very interesting social media platform. It's a, pro a professional pl uh, platform, and there are there are a lot of professionals online on LinkedIn. And I think, yeah, LinkedIn is a is a very very good choice as a social media for someone who um, is looking for professional. Uh, yeah, professional connections and what you can also do on linkedin is is you cannot only do uh, you can you can do more than just posts you can also go and you can write articles and just with a click write an article bam and then um you're already in the draft put in a picture headline and then basically this is more is, is almost the same as uh, on medium Put everything there and then press publish and it's done and people can share it people can comment it yeah i am i think this is i i like linkedin a lot because of the the professionals that are there recently i haven't posted that much on linkedin um yeah i will continue with this a lot more and so you you build your own you build your own um, portfolio, and people can can find you and can 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 look at it. I haven't uh, posted so much on LinkedIn because I'm right now focusing on my YouTube and my podcast. Uh, so, yeah, this is all the podcast you're listening right now. I'm having this as a YouTube and as a audio podcast audio podcast by the way is called plumbers of data science you can find this for instance on spotify okay so and when you have all this one thing that is absolutely crucial is that you put this in your cv you put this in your application you let people know how they find it and you funnel people basically to your to your social media Put in your LinkedIn, put in your your uh, Medium address. Let them find you and let them find out how the, how you're ticking. And so you're not only a a piece of paper. You're you're yeah you're actually someone and with with ideas and you're sharing those ideas. And I think this is the most important thing. If it doesn't matter if you're only doing Medium or if you're only doing LinkedIn. Personally, I think it's a combination of, of both. 
um, or, or three or four platforms, depending on how much time you want to invest and how much how much work you want to invest. Um, but this is the way to go for a for someone who is looking for a job or for a professional who wants to talk about stuff that you, for instance, cannot talk at work because you don't have the 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 colleagues. You don't have ten colleagues um, who are in the same domain as you are. So, yeah, it's it's this is the right way to to get an edge, and you can show off your certifications. You can talk about certifications, what you like, what you don't like, everything, and yeah, don't be just a piece of paper. Be you and share your thoughts. This sharing your thoughts this is most important. Um, so go out and start today. And if you start on Medium or on LinkedIn, just add me on LinkedIn or write me a note and I will look at it. And um, if you want, I can help you with this. Give my feedback how I like it. All right. So, so far for today. Um, until next time. Bye bye.